brother John McCallum uh, showed a lot of musical promise at an early age. Um, by the time he was 10, he was a church musician at the church we grew up in around the corner, a couple blocks from here. Um, my father was a barbershop quartet singer, so Sundays after coming home from church, we would uh, play church. And so John would get on the piano, my dad would start teaching us harmony. John, you sing this part. And you sing this. Cheryl, you sing this. Wendell, you sing this. I'll sing this. <laughs> my younger brother James um, also became a musician. Um, I guess he, we all had music in us. Um, but then too, James became a musician. He, he studied and he learned. John was natural talent, but James learned through practice, a lot of practice. I played a little bit, but I ended up being more of a, a journalist than a performer. That was my interest more so than being on stage. Cheryl, my youngest sister, my sister, uh, didn't want to be on stage at all. And she's the one that ended up with a Broadway career. <laughs> mm, I think John was a spearhead for a lot of things. You know, he, he um, was a creative genius behind um, most of the work that was done here at the time. Juana Todd was teaching, he was ill though. Uh, Khadijah Farabi had moved to California, I think, by that time. Uh, John was going to school in Greeley after he graduated from East. So um, John and Roger started original productions first. And uh, we performed a couple of shows at Phipps Auditorium, which is now the IMAX theater. Uh, when John decided to start the Denver Black Arts Company, he needed a lot of help and didn't really know where to get it, but a lot of people were familiar with him and decided that they would come and, and help him. So I can't remember if it was Hiawatha Davis or, I don't know how we ended up on, on High Street. Oh, with Khadijah, I think. Uh, she was working there first with the High Street Parish, mm -hmm. but they started a theater program there. Um, so John worked with her. But with the Denver Black Arts Company, I think he wanted a more formal organization that could really teach and perform workshops and that could teach um, students of all ages, all races, um, put together workshops and produce plays within the community, specifically some of his works. Uh, so, my first job was kind of as his sounding board, I think, you run ideas past me. And um, with my photography background, then I started taking pictures that he needed and didn't think about acting too much until he pulled me into that, you know. Uh, but it was, um, for those years that we were doing the theater, great. Great experience.